Hey out there, Betsy here. Since we all seem to have a little more time on our hands lately, I figured you might have a second for a few tips on how to do more with less. No, you're not going to end up in a yurt or a tiny house after this. I mean, unless you want to. I'm talking about minimalism, getting more overall value out of life and being more efficient while you do it. See, it just so happens we Bells have a few lifestyle tips to mix in with our financial ones. Here's the first. Do a spending versus value test. We're talking high level here. A perspective change. Make a list of the 10 most expensive things that you own. Things like your house, your car, your jewelry, giant entertainment thingamajigs, whatever. Then make a second list. But this time you're gonna write down things you value the most. Things like long walks in fresh air, relaxing on the porch, things like that. I bet you a roll of toilet paper that those lists don't converge at all. There's some things that you can't get around, but by writing these things down, you'll have a better perspective of what really matters. Dress with less. I know, this one hits home for me too. But go through your closet and assess anything that you haven't worn in quite a while. There's a book out there by Courtney Carver called Project 333. It's a challenge to limit yourself to wearing just 33 items over the course of three months. I see you rolling your eyes over there. I officially challenge you. Can you do it? Next, cut out recurring expenses. This day and age sees a lot of us subscribing to a lot of things. Car wash memberships, collector clubs, streaming services. Remember that spending versus value thing we just did? Yes. If you're just holding on to a subscription, but you're not using it enough to justify the cost, it's time to get real. And hey, maybe you can look into pausing the subscription for now and come back to it later. No more ham of the month club, maybe? Freeze produce. When certain items are in season, you can cut them up, stick them in freezer bags, and keep them frozen until you're ready to use at a later date. This works great on fruit. My favorite? Strawberries. Save a little. Yep, I said it. Did you know that even on a tight budget, you could save over $1,300 in one year? Check this out. Start week by week. Week one, save a dollar. Week two, two dollars. Week three, you get the point. By the end of a full year, 52 weeks, you will have saved $1,378 and you started with just one buck, right? Right. Obviously current events don't afford us all the time in the world to adjust. We know that. Maybe just start with one of these things and progress from there. We got this. Stay positive and we'll see you next time on the minimalist version of the Dollar Bells.